How's it going guys, our Triple XC here, and I have been waiting a while to make this video. Uh, if you've been kind of keeping up with me on Twitter uh, this past weekend, um, or keeping up with Bakugan in general for the past weekend, uh, things got a little crazy. Uh, it's been the New York Toy Fair uh, for 2020, uh, and basically that's where a lot of companies go and kind of show off their product for, you know, the big box stores and stuff like that to come and see what they got going on and if they want to stock their product for that coming season. Um, and so obviously Spin Master has a booth because they want to get their Paw Patrol buddies and their Hatchimals. They got these new Hatchimal horse things. They're like Hatchimals riding my little ponies. So like, I mean, <laughs> who wants to start collecting with me? Um, but other than that, they had Bakugan and that's obviously why I was looking at this stuff. Um, and we had a lot of, uh, special agents out on the scene. Uh, one you'll see, uh, EC, um, uh, gave me permission to use her video, uh, his or her video. I don't remember seeing the gender of the person. They are letting me <laughs> use their video, uh, for the purposes of my video to make this a little easier for me. So I really appreciate that. You made uh, contact with me. Uh, and, uh, that's awesome. I, I really appreciate you reaching out to me. Um, and also we had Kodak go out, uh, recently and go ask some more questions. Um, and we've used Kodak before on the channel. Uh, he's pretty helpful when it comes to going to toy fair. So anyway, um, I'm going to kind of go through EC's video here. Uh, make sure you go to their channel. There, there's a lot of stuff going on. Just if you don't feel like watching the whole video, I say it now. I am looking forward to what's coming out, but I need more dates, um, times, and specifics on when all this stuff is going to come out. Other than that, uh, I'm all in. So, I know Bakugan's in a weird spot right now. People are worried about it and stuff. So, I can't say that this is going to fix everything. But I will say that it looks pretty cool. So, um, I'm going to go into detail with it. If you don't want to stick around, see you later. Uh, if not, the people who really want to see this stuff, stick around. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on that real quick. So, here we are at the Toy Fair with EC. Um, I'm going to kind of jump around a little bit. I've seen all of this many, many a times. Um... We, we have some new stuff coming around, and basically what it is are, this is one of them, these Fusion Bakugan. The new set is going to be called Fusion Force, which we'll see here in a second. Um, and it's going to be focused around these special Bakugan uh, that on the character card are two Bakugan on the same card. I'll put one up on the screen here for you. And basically, they will have this F ability. Uh, it's like two little brackets and an F. Um, if you pay a certain cost, uh, I know one of them has like pay one, uh, and Dragonoid Auxilator has pay eight. If you pay that cost, you get to flip the card over and you get, it's basically an evolution. Uh, and I am a huge fan of this. Basically, I now have an evolution that's always on the field that I don't have to draw into, that I won't discard because of damage or any other means of discarding cards in the game. And I will always have a chance to evolve my Bakugan as long as I get to that uh, energy cost. Um, and we all know ways to get energy costs. You can song of fire, uh, just turbo stuff with uh, Ventus and stuff like that. So I'm really excited about these things. The molds, I'm a fan of. There's a lot of people who aren't. They're kind of creepy. <laughs> They're kind of weird looking, um, but we're going to see some more. I'm going to let this play. There's going to be a couple more uh, that you're going to see. We have Diamond Treaderous here, who looks awesome. I love Treaderous. He's a really cool design. Um, our first look at Simoga in the packaging here. Uh, obviously, Simoga is a Bakugan named after Alex Simo, who was the world champion last year, who has been replaced by Jet Kuzo. Um, and it's still really cool to see that uh, Simo gets his Bakugan released and everything. Uh, he's really cool looking too. <laughs> Big fan. Um, and here we start seeing some of the fusions. Here you might ask, what what the heck are these? Well, we don't know. <laughs> Especially the one on the left, we definitely don't know. But what it seems to be is a combination of Cyndius and Cycloid or something like that. Judging because he's above him uh, on, this, on this frame here. And then the next one is like Batrix something. We're not entirely sure. It almost kind of looks like Maxator. So it's like it's Maxator something? We don't know. We will have to find out soon. This is one of my favorites. This is Hydrus Batrix. So it's Hydrus with wings. Um, and there's a diamond of this that we're going to see later that is just genuinely awesome. Uh, here we have some kind of Hydronoid um, fusion with what people are assuming is Raiorazu, which is that new, um, like, uh, 
xenomorph head bakugan thing they got coming uh really strong inventus gonna hit like 1600 or something 1500 or 1600 or something on a helix turn one busted uh but anyway the next one here is troxyrus and oh boy oh boy am i excited about troxyrus i'm a huge fan um everybody knows i love trucks at this point this thing is gorgeous i love it it's oilless it's green at the same time just look at them Ooh, i love it so this is the diamond version of pyrus darkus uh dragonoid treacherous um this i think is kind of kind of be like the main like dude for this like this is like our dragonoid core for this like run um, because they're showing it a lot, and there's also a DECA of this diamond, which they wouldn't do for any Dragonoid if it wasn't, like, important. So, I think that this is, like, the best one, uh, in my opinion, design-wise, um, but it's, it's definitely looking really cool. New Nilius. This is the new Nilius mixed with something. I have no idea what that would be, uh, but, um, the two of these that we have seen seem to be, um one faction and so this looks looks like chaos which is weird because the other ones are going to have uh different faction colors as you can see by the pegatrix gillator to the side um or gillator if you're me <laughs> uh so that's like aquas darkest as you can see but the uh nilius here doesn't look like that so it's kind of weird a clear batrix okay so um along with diamonds are no longer diamonds who knows um well i Maybe we do know. Um, but anyway, this is uh, Batrix Ultra with his Baku gear. Um, I think this is one of Winton's Bakugan. Uh, but uh, it's clear plastic, as you can see. So people have been asking that for that for forever since the game started back again. And it looks like we're going to be getting that. So that's pretty cool. Clear Bakugan are back. This looks like the Zen Ogre from Monster Hunter. And you can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> this thing looks so cool. We don't know what this is, though. It's almost like it's a Trino uh, Hydrus because uh, of the Orlis or, or maybe Feral or something. Um, but I have no idea, but it's really awesome looking. Uh, it's like, I don't know. I, I like it a lot. This is Pegatrix Gillator. Um, and uh, it, it's okay. It's on like pack art and like three cards in the set. So it's apparently important to them. This looks like how Cornelius. I don't know what to tell you, uh, but it looks really awesome. Um, but it's weird because it's Auralis, so it's making me think not Halcor or Nilius. It might be Halcor Auxilator, maybe? Mm-hmm. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Just had that idea pop in my head. Really cool, though. Look at this thing, man. Wow. Uh, I'm assuming that this is the Aquas Ventus, so Hydrus Batrix. Uh, Aquas is Hydrus, um, and Ventus is Batrix. I like this thing. It's really cool looking. I hope that's what it looks like out of the prototype prototype stage. Um, we don't know what this is yet. It's Pegatrix. I'm assuming this is Pegatrix Gillator Ultra. But I love this thing. It looks really like strong. Like it's like beefy. It's big boy. Big fan. Um, big big fan. Uh, and, and this is just the best thing I've ever seen in my life. So, <laughs> you know, it's Trox something. Uh, but I don't know what he's mixed with. It, I don't think it's Trox Cyrus because it doesn't look like Trox Cyrus, but it's Trox with some kind of Orlis thing going on. So if this is Trox Auxilator, I'm going to cry because it looks great. Um, but y'all know I love Trox, so I'm all in on whatever this thing is. I have no idea. And it looks like he's really hard to fold together, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's just got them little tiny little tiny little feet. Just little, little, little feet. Uh, tiny feet. Yeah, so... This seems to be Cindius Scorporos, uh, with a weird, like, um, what do you call that? Cream colored white for the white that we've never really seen before. Um, obviously these are all prototypes, so they're not, you know, going to stay like this, but still pretty cool. So this is where things get interesting. So kind of rewind the video when I f first showed you the painted Dragonoid Treacherous, it was red with black accents. This one's black with red accents, so what I'm thinking, uh, and some of us were talking about it on the internet the other day, uh, that um, maybe we're going to get these character cards, and maybe we'll get like the antithesis of each one. Um, so basically how it works is that the you have two Bakugan on the card, well you're only going to get the faction of one of them to start the game with. 
this is how they prevent you from running cards from other factions like in the deck at the same time you know what i mean um so this starts all the the one that we've seen with uh dragonoid ex auxilator is pyrus and then when you flip it over it's pyrus orlis well what this treader D dragonoid treaderous is telling us this is this, this is gonna be so annoying to start saying all these names Oh, and I'm just figuring that out because I'm. This is my first time I'm verbally talking about these things with someone that isn't visual over here. Um, what I'm thinking is that you're going to get either a Darkus, uh, Dragonoid Treaderous, and then flip over to Pyrus Darkus, or, or a Pyrus Darkus Treaderous or Dragonoid Treaderous, and flip over to a Darkus Pyrus. Uh, so you'll end up having the same factions, but you'll start with a different one. So you'll have a Pyrus, a Pyrus route, and a Darkus route to take. Um, and I think that that's a cool idea, um, just to give you options. Maybe it ends up being the same thing on the back, but you have something else to start with. So if you'd rather run Pyrus cards or you'd rather run Darkest cards, you have an option there. Here we have Baku Clips. Some people are really excited about these. I could care less. <laughs> I don't care. It has nothing to do with the card game for me. Uh, I'm kind of in for, in on this for the card game currently. So, uh, yeah, Baku Clips cool though. Some people want them, some people like them. Uh, new arena here. This is the Colosseum, the Battle Colosseum, uh, which we'll see here better. Uh, so this is Dragonoid Auxilator, the card I showed you earlier. Um, this is what he looks like. This is a prototype. He looks really gross right here. I don't think he's gonna look like that when we get him. Um, and this is Dragonoid Infinity, the new big boy, uh, the big chase, or uh, not chase, the big thing uh, for everything. All right, so this is where stuff gets crazy. This is Bakugan Pro stuff. Again, the TCG has moved to Pro, um, and they're kind of really starting to set this in. Uh, first of all, you can see one of the new cards. This is Howcore Serpentes, um, and that's, I think, what I was talking about earlier. Missed that up. Uh, it's not Ramparian Ultra. It's this. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, you'll have this. Uh, you'll flip it over, and it'll have them combined and some crazy cool art. Same thing with the Fangs or Mantanoid over to the right, uh, and that's that. So... New set. These are basically tins, okay? So they're called, um, uh, what are they? I forgot what they're called. Collections or something like that. Um, and they have reprints of certain cards in Bakugan Elite form. So we now have a Bakugan Elite Nature's Power, which is dope because that card's fantastic. Uh, and Bakugan Elite Blinding Ink, which is also good because Blinding Ink's okay. Um, what's weird about this is that they're giving us that new Nilius that isn't out yet still. Um, so why do we need it again? Uh, so now whatever value that card had is gone, um, or at least is to this, which is, uh, I'm assuming going to be about $10. Basically what these are, we had them confirmed by, I think Kodak actually went back and confirmed this, uh, that these are basically like Pokemon tins. So you get your, you know, fancy shiny card on the front, open this up, uh, and you get, uh, packs, um, four to five packs. I don't remember what they said. Um, I'm still kind of going on the fact that these might be prototype boxings. Um, uh, so we don't really know. Uh, and you get these cool little faction-based deck boxes out of them. Pretty cool. Don't think there's any Bakugan in here, though. So this is definitely an LGS product, which means they're going to be kind of focusing on that moving forward, which is why I'm still in this. <laughs> I still really need this to work. I still want it to work. Um, but here we go. Uh, that's Armored Elite stuff. Hold on. And... Okay, here we go. So, blind boxes are a thing, too. Which is also making me... Think that this stuff is going to LGSs. Um, this was, this is... I, I'm not a fan of this kind of thing. Uh, but I know that I am uh, a bit on the uh, outlier of that. Uh, I don't... If, I, if I'm buying something, I want to know what I'm buying. Um, so, I, I'm not a fan of blind boxes whatsoever. Uh, but... Buying packs is like buying blind boxes, so I, I understand, people. Thank you. Um, but uh, these are cool. These are going to be a new way to get different diamonds uh, and some rare Auralis Bakugan, apparently. Um, but basically, you open this, you get a concealed Bakugan, and you get a pack of cards and two cores. Uh, so, um, I mean, it's also like a little deck box, so you get to have a million of these little things laying around your house. I don't know. Uh, but this is a new product. They're blind boxes. Uh, I hope they work out. Um, and I, I, I hope I'm not sounding like 
not happy because basically what I'm trying to do or trying to figure out or want them to tell me is how exactly they plan on getting this to us. Okay. So, uh, I had one of the pre-release events, um, and about right after the Bakugan event in, in Los Angeles that I got invited to, uh, I got an email or something. I forgot what it was a message from somebody at spin master. I don't remember if it was VK or not, but it was like, Hey, did your LGS want to, uh, work with another Bakugan event? And I was like, I don't know. So I messaged my guy. I was like, Hey, would you be willing to do this? Because honestly he got stuck with a lot of <laughs> structure decks last time and he still hasn't gotten rid of those. And so I was worried for him. You know, the guy's a nice guy. Uh, I didn't want to burden him with more product. He can't move. Um, and he was like, yeah, I definitely want to do it because he did make his money back on the whole event. We had, I don't remember how many people we had, but after we bought all the packs and everything of age of Oralist that they sent, uh, he definitely, uh, was in the green there. So he was cool with it. Uh, so he was like, yeah, sure. We haven't heard back from him since. Um, and so, uh, just judging by other things that I've heard from other people, some, secret details that I know of other game stores that I'm not really obli or obligated to talk about here. Um, they've been in a tight spot. Uh, and now with all of this, they're trying to show off to these people. They're trying to get everything going. Um, you know, they, they have a shot to make it happen and let it take off. Uh, and, and we just have to believe in them at this point. There's nothing more. The community has been pushing. We've been trying, you know, I've hosted events. Um, I'm doing this channel, which I use as promotion for the game. Uh, I mean, I don't know, man, <laughs> we're going to have to see, uh, there's a lot of things going on where, uh, you know, uh, we have four companies that are going to be helping distribution to LGSs. Um, there's events coming, uh, there's a, a couple this summer, they're going to anime expo, gen con, something else. I forgot the name of it. Um, no Momo con, which I'm really disappointed about. Uh, really enjoyed my time at Momo con last year. Um, but we have that announced too. So it's like this weird spot where like they say they're doing it and it looks like they're going to be able to do it. I mean, armored Alliance is on shelves everywhere i think it's like in sweden uh i just saw something pop up it's like in sweden um i think you know a bunch of other countries i know australia is getting it um canada has some armored alliance i have some i don't have everything i want uh jet found packs in texas uh and so everything everyone's kind of getting it at the right time same time not right time uh so i don't know it's really interesting um but that's about all i have time for today. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Just kind of a quick look. Uh, I just wanted to wait to make my video to make sure I had everything settled uh, and understood so I didn't spread any misinformation or have people seeing something that they didn't know and then they're like, oh, well, screw this. I'm not going to do this anymore. Da, 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 da. No, it, this is everything. If you have questions, please leave them in the comment section. As of now, everything seems like it's laid out in a good way. Uh, all of our questions have been answered, um, pretty much anyway, uh, there's a couple of things we don't know, uh, but we are just gonna have to wait for those things. Um, other than that, my cat is trying to get into the room, so I'm going to have to end this. Okay. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Um, I got more battles coming soon. I want to make some decks, uh, and hopefully talk about some of the stuff we're getting out of here. There's been some cards been revealed, so I'm going to talk about those too in another video. But other than that, thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all being with me here. Um, it's a new year, new Bakugan. We got Fusion Force coming out later. Uh, Armored Alliance coming out soon. Hopefully, I'm looking for packs. I've been out all weekend looking for packs, actually. So, hopefully, we'll have that somewhere, some somewhere for you here. I don't know what I was just trying to say. I'm pretty bad at YouTube now. Anyway, see you guys. Bye.